Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Fingers Crossed. In this episode of Fingers Crossed, I'm going to be testing out Let Me Skin Ultra H2O Modeling Mask. So modeling masks have become increasingly popular over the years because it used to be something you can only do when you go for like facial or things like that. But now it's just something you can do at home and it's really easy. I first tried modeling masks in actually my first ever episode of Fingers Crossed. But that didn't go too well. Um, I, I didn't really know how to apply it properly, I think. That's why a lot of it was dripping everywhere. So today is actually my redemption day. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to try and do it right this time or at least better than the last time. So this modeling mask is actually a gel and essence type. And what you do is that you mix in the essence and the ampoule together with the gel. Then you apply it on your face. And because it starts to firm out, it becomes like a rubber pack effect. So it helps to seal in all that nutrients and allow your skin to really absorb it. There are actually four different types of modeling masks, each with a different benefit. But across all, it's supposed to be super hydrating. Because they did a clinical test and it actually said that it helped to increase the skin's moisture level by 67%. Apart from it being able to help to hydrate your skin, this one in particular is targeted at brightening uneven skin tones. And it actually contains lime, licorice and rice bran extract. Before we go into the video, I just want to say this packaging is by far the cutest packaging I've ever seen in my life. 50% of the reason why I want to try this product or I bought this product was because of the packaging. It's just like a giant peel. It's amazing. And I love that it's practical. So you actually mix the mask inside here. And after that, you can reuse it to like store things as well. It's just, oh my gosh, whoever came up with this, so smart. Okay, anyway, let's get started and let's try this product out. So this is how the product looks like. Once you open it in the middle, there's actually a spatula and four packets. Two labeled one and two labeled two. So one of these products is actually good for two users. Now using one side as a holder, I'm going to open the packet labeled one and pour it into the cup. So this packet actually consists of the gel. Then I'm going to open the smaller packet labeled two, which consists of the essence and pour it into the cup as well. Afterwards, I'm just going to mix it. The next step is to just apply this all over my face. It is actually very cooling on my face even though I didn't put it in the refrigerator. Also, it smells so, so good. But the consistency of it is a little lumpy so it's hard to get a smooth and even layer. I've applied the mask already but as you can see, I feel like the consistency is not the same as when I saw other people apply it. Like, they're also slightly more watery but I really don't know what is the problem because to avoid a problem like the aqua bug modeling mask I actually tried this on the other day and that was way thicker than this so I tried to mix it faster today like I mixed it a few times and then I went on to apply it already and still it does not work like it's really thick I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but either way I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes that was the recommended time it's been about 20 to 30 minutes um, and I think it's dry already to the point where I can peel it off. Even though when I touch the surface, it's still a little wet. Um, but I think like the mask itself has already dried so I can start to peel it off. While it was relatively easy to peel it off, the uneven layer actually made this part more messy than I expected. So I finally took it off. I actually had to go and look into a mirror to take it off because there were small little bits. I think that had a lot to do with the application part where a lot of it already started to harden. So I wasn't able to get a smooth and even application. Um, otherwise, if you are able to get a smooth and even application, then I think it should be even easier and there'll be less um, debris. Less. So here are my final thoughts on the product. Honestly, this went like the complete opposite of what I expected. So I thought it was going to be super droopy. But this hardened really fast to the point where even as I was starting to apply, as you guys can see, it really started to clump up. So it wasn't a smooth texture. And I think that made, like I said before, the peel-off peel -off part really difficult as well. So I don't know, because on the box in Korean, they actually said I should mix it for 30 seconds. But even when I mixed it for 10 seconds, it was already starting to harden. So I just quickly applied it on my face before it totally firmed up. And I don't know, I, maybe it's just me. It's me and modeling mask because I went to see like other videos after it happened. I went to check out other videos. Everybody's one was pretty smooth. So I'm like, is it, is it just me? Like, or did the product formula change? I don't know. Okay, I really hope that any of you who is trying this out there will let me know. Is it just a problem with me? Am I just not fated to use modeling mask? Okay, but other than that, in terms of results, at the end of the day, it definitely did help to brighten my skin tone. I could definitely see a 
different and my skin did feel hydrated. I just think that the peel off process was really annoying for me. Now, once again, I don't know if this is a personal experience, but like, I thought I got rid of most of it because I applied a moisturizer after that, right? So I was like, I cleaned my face, like, I got rid of the debris, and I poured my moisturizer, and then lo and behold, as I was doing my work, like, I just touched my face here, and then I found a bit more, and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's never ending. I'm really sad. I actually really wanted to like this product because I wanted to redeem myself with modeling masks and be like, you know, it's great as well. But even though the results were great, it was just really messy. I might give the Aqua Bulk modeling mask one more try because I did buy it when I was in Korea. So hopefully it goes well then. If not, I think me and modeling masks are just not fated. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm really sorry if this review isn't like great. But this is just what I experienced. Um, I'm trying my best. If I didn't do anything right, please let me know in the comments below so that I can correct myself. And yeah, I hope you guys still like it somehow. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more episodes of Fingers Crossed that will be coming your way. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you know when a new video is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!